Hello, it's UPB from OptionMillionaires.com. Hope you're having a great start to the week. Those buying the puts, sitting pretty right now. Stock futures are down big. Fear is growing from Europe again. Uh, right now we have earnings season. That's what I'm here to cover with a quick video. Uh, show some charts and some options that I'm going to be trading for earnings this week. We had an amazing week last week. SanDisk, a uh, stock that I brought in my earnings video last week, uh, moved. that was over a 12 100% gain on a lot of the calls as it slowly moved higher and then gapped higher on Friday. Chipotle Mexican Grill fell off a cliff on Friday. 25% move. Look at that candle there. And the options were huge. Some of the contracts on the put side moved over 20,000%. That's 15 cents into $36. I believe it was a $335 strike. And just an amazing move. So to put that into perspective, if you just bought 10 contracts, I saw somebody post it, it's tough to comprehend that kind of gain. It really is. It's, it's almost unbelievable. Um, so you're looking at that strike. If you buy uh, 10 contracts at 15 cents, that's $150 cost. And then at $36 per contract, you're looking at each contract being worth $3,600. Since you have 10 of them, your total value of those 10 contracts would be $36,000. So that's $150 into $36,000. Pretty amazing. Doesn't happen all the time, that's for sure. But it's earnings season. We've already had some big moves, SanDisk. Um, so why not? Always out there to find the next now Chipotle Mexican Grill type move. We have Buffalo Wild Wings, Wild Wings, Wild Wings reporting this week. We also have McDonald's down today. Uh, it is off its lows but fell almost uh, 3% out of, the, out of the gate. And if you watched my, uh, you were in my event last night, you saw there's a nice bear flag on the long-term chart. Looks like McDonald's is finally breaking down after hitting highs earlier this year, all-time highs. After the bell today, we have Baidu. I'm actually in just a couple calls for a possible bounce. Now the stock looks very, very weak. Um, I am obviously going against the trend, which is not always a good thing. But if you pull back here, we could be sitting at a support here from the October 6 lows. Uh, pull back even farther, yes, the chart does look weak. It looks like it's rolling over, but I'm just playing it for a bounce. It could continue and probably will continue to go down, um, but not saying it won't go up tomorrow, and that's all I care about. So I might not even hold through earnings. I'm in. If we get a bounce intraday today, I'll be out before the close. And if we get a nice bounce, it could be a nice 30 to 50% gain. I'll be more than happy with that. We also have uh, VMW, not VMW, VMW after the bell. Uh, this is another big mover. Look, look at this chart. I mean, if it does break through, uh, look at that support there. Look at it, where it's sitting. Keeps bouncing. High, back down, higher, higher. So if you look at this chart, I mean, it's certainly like a lot of the stocks we saw, Chipotle Max and Girl sitting at some serious support. Uh, the options are pretty heavily priced, and I believe there's only monthly options for this one. Let's just uh, look for it real quick. VMW, not BMW, VMW. Yes, they're only monthly options, but the $100 strike is going for a dollar right now. That's not so bad. You get three of them, 300 bucks, and see what happens. You have a whole another three weeks. All right, let me just keep going here, chugging along. Uh, I'll give you some of my better options. Please. I don't like Apple just because the options are priced. You're looking at a, you need a 10% move to make any kind of money for Apple options. So you're better off waiting. Apple is coming off its lows here. I was saying in the chat room this morning when Apple was at its low, I said this might be a good time if you're looking for calls and the calls are down uh, nicely off the close on Friday. We have Apple. We also have Buffalo Wild Wings. The options are also heavily priced. Um, so you could see some additional premium you might want to just wait it out until the next day and that would be on Tuesday after the bell we also have Netflix I think Netflix is going to trade two to three percent in either direction the options are pricing in just an enormous move if you want the hundred dollar strike for a call for a move up there just this week that's a twenty two dollar move that's a that's a almost twenty five percent move uh, they're going for they were going for a dollar on Friday and they're probably at about seventy five cents right now just a huge premium I don't see why you'd want to pay that kind of premium. Just too much risk there. And we, in the morning, we have Caterpillar. Now, Caterpillar, I am looking at the $85 strike. And Caterpillar, look at it now. It's bouncing. 
I was waiting. Instead, I'm doing this video. <laughs> the, when Caterpillar was below 79, I was looking at the $85 strike. I believe they hit 26 cents, probably about 35 cents now. I'm not sure if I'm going to get them. It might be just filling the gap down, but needless to say, it's down less than 1% right now. I do like the $85 calls just as a bounce play. If you look at the chart, it's breaking down. We might see the $67 range here. Uh, let me just go a little farther. Uh, that's where we hit back in October. $67 and change. And this trend line, that's multi-year support. Let me just go back a little bit farther. That's multi-year support. So we're obviously breaking down with, with Caterpillar. Put in this nice double top. So the stock is breaking down. However, it's been just crumbling. So I'm playing for a bounce. Now you can play both ways. You can get, say, the $75 puts, which are probably trading for pennies as well. And let's move on as futures are spiking as I'm talking. Of course, I'm in a couple bounce plays I posted in the chat room this morning. I'm in the Baidu. 120 calls for earnings. Let's go to Baidu. <clears throat> like I said, Baidu is breaking down, but I'm just playing for a bounce. I'm also in FCX calls, even though I think long term. Look at this. We're sitting right at the neckline here. And if you look a little closer, this right here is a nice bear flag. If you zoom in a little closer, let me just do that for you. But I think, uh, well, anyway. Let's just let's just stick with earnings. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm going a little off course here. Uh, finally, on Thursday we had Amazon. Amazon reported earnings last quarter and just pew, from one uh, the mid 190s to 228 dollars, I believe, the next day, and then ultimately went to almost 237 the following day. That was Monday. They were all over it, and it's been kind of consolidating here. Dropped back down, almost tried for 200 again. And I don't know. It looks promising. I'm not going to touch it. Just again, the market's pricing in a big move. So in order for you to make money trading Amazon options, you're going to need that big move. And since we had that big move last time, that's what the market's going to be pricing in. And if we don't get it, uh, your options are just going to go to down the toilet. So if you're trading out of the money options for Amazon on earnings, good luck to you. I wish you well, but I don't know how successful it's going to be. Finally, Facebook. It's going to be an interesting earnings week. If you like Facebook. Um, the stock has been tumbling, but look, as I've been pointing out <laughs> rather sarcastically, it is now the safe trade, the safe haven. With all the stocks getting clobbered, uh, everything falling apart in Europe, everyone's piling into Facebook. They're liking it. But no, in all seriousness, seriousness, I was waiting for the premiums to drop, and I might get into the calls. Another stock I get into for earnings, we have Zanga. Zanga, Wednesday after the bell. The stock has been slowly moving off its lows here. It's $0.13 cents under $5. I got the $5 calls this morning for 31 cents posted them in the chat room anyway this is upb here from optionmillionaires.com it's going to be another tremendous week i can feel it earnings earnings rock now if we have another chipotle mexican grill hopefully i'll be in it <laughs> and hopefully you will too all right upb here from optionmillionaires.com have a great week goodbye